that question. And what's different about it is it gives you so much information that you have to order. So it says a train passes to three points, A, B, and C. Let's draw them out. Drawing out always helps with these questions. I'd always advise it. Let's label this A, this B, and this C. The distance from A to B is given to you as 40 meters. So let's label that. The distance from B to C is 60 meters. The train passes through A with a speed of 10 meters per second. So at A, it has 10 meters per second. Um, and six seconds later, it passes through C. So what it looks like is you have to split this up into three different sections. So there's a section from A to B because it's giving you information for that. It's giving you information of the section from B to C. And it's also giving you information about the whole journey from A to C that it's six seconds long. And let's fill in all the SUVAT variables that we have so far. This is going to help us do part A, B and C of this question because we're going to have all our information already laid out. Um, I would advise you also lay out like this in the exam. So the speed through A is 10 meters per second. That means that the initial velocity of both of these is 10 because they will start off at A. This one, the initial velocity won't be 10 because it starts off at B. Um, we know the time taken to go from A to C is given as 6 seconds, so let's label that as our T. We know the acceleration is constant throughout the whole journey, but we don't know what the acceleration is yet. We know the distance from A to B is 40 meters. So I'm just going to label that one quickly. 40, we know from B to C the distance is 60 meters. We know from A to C it's 40 plus 60, so it's 100 meters. Do we know anything else? So, okay, and it's asking us for the acceleration. Here we don't have enough variables to solve for acceleration because we need three known variables and one unknown variable. Here we still don't have enough variables for acceleration, but here we do. We have three known variables and we have one unknown. So laying it all out like this helps you realize which is the best sort of plan of action. Let's do part A in black. So the equation linking S, U, A and T is S equals U, T plus half A, T squared. 10 times, so S is 100. Actually, I'm just going to quickly write these equations out. This V equals U plus A, T. Sorry, I should have written it out before. You can skip a few seconds if you want. Just skip me writing it out. And lastly, there's s equals vt minus half t squared. Okay, great. So s is 100 is equal to u, which is 10 times t, which is 6, plus a half times a, which we're trying to find, times 6 squared, because that's t squared. So 10 times 6 is 60. 6 squared is 36, times a half is 18, so plus 18a. Take away 40 from both sides. So 40 is equal to 18a. Divide both sides by 18, so a is equal to 40 over 18. Which in a calculator would give you... So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to get my calculator out on this part here. Just left my other one downstairs. But 40 divided by 18 is okay. 2.22. Let's leave it to three significant figures. 2.22 meters per second squared. And that's the same for all three of these sections because it says it's constant acceleration. So I'm going to rub out part A now and just replace all the accelerations in our super equation with 2.22. and now we can move on to part b part b is asking for the speed at which the train passes through b now there's two ways you can do this because b 
to find the velocity at B, you can either find the final velocity of this part of the journey, because it's from A to B, it ends at B, or you can find the initial velocity on this section of the journey, because from B to C, it starts off at B, so the initial velocity will give you the speed at B. In this case, it makes sense to use um, AB, because, again, we're given three known variables, 4E10 and 2.22, and we have one unknown which we're trying to find, which is velocity. So the equation linking S, U, V, and A is... Yeah, this one here. Sorry, my brain switched off for a bit. So putting the values into that equation, v squared is what we're trying to find, is equal to u squared, which is 10 squared. So that's 100 plus 2 times a times s, which is 2 times 2.22 multiplied by s, which is 40. So v squared is equal to 4.44 times 40. Let's get my calculator out then. So 4.44 times 40. And then we add 100 onto that. 277.6. So v squared is equal to 277.6. And we square root both sides. So, spare me one moment. I'm just going to do square root 277.6. And that's just 16.7. So that's your velocity at point B. So that counts as not only your final velocity in your journey from A to B, but your initial velocity from your journey from B to C. Because like I mentioned, we're starting off at B. So the initial velocity is 16.72. Now the time it takes to go from B to C, well now we can just use SUVA on this part of the journey because we have three known variables and we want to find the unknown. So again, let me just rub out part two and just so the space for part three. But hopefully, um, from here, it's just substitution and solving equations, which I'm assuming you know how to do. But hopefully, um, it helps to see how you can order the information. The equation linking S, U, A, and T, again, is S equals U, T plus half A, T squared. So S is equal to U, 16.7, times T, plus a half of A, times T squared. Okay, so let's focus on simplifying the term on the right hand side. A half times 2.22 is actually 1.11. Oops. 1.11 t squared. This is almost a quadratic now. Let's just take the 60 to the right hand side and rearrange a few terms. So the t squared terms come first, then the t term then minus 60 equals zero. And sorry, just because I left my calculator elsewhere, from here you use the quadratic formula. So let's write out the quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you will be able to get to the right answer from here. Hopefully that made sense. And if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.